Hello, my name is Todd Gooch, and my goal is to win the MacArthur Award and the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and Physics. <clears throat> Today what I would like to do for you is to propose the theory of everything, uh, which I've written in my new book, Gravitational Unit Theory, Unified Field Theory, The Theory of Everything. It's available at my website, gravitationalunittheory.com, and also through amazon.com. Uh, the, uh, the mathematical theory of everything that I've derived is d2t, d3t, equal nr dt, uh, equals a constant mass times dt. Um, and what I would like to do is to do a sample problem for you, which uh, again is is in the book um, and, and what I'll do is I'll use an f of x equation a t of x equation um, to um, to derive a valid set of temperature pressure and volume uh, for the first time ever so let's begin uh, let's use t of x equal to 3x cubed plus 5x plus 2 is an example. I use this example because it gives an absolutely 100% correct result to a nine digits past a decimal as far as the standard deviation goes. Um, I, because of one of the little mathematical tricks I use in, in, in my work to simplify the mathematics um, uh, there is some deviation associated with the work in some instances. Uh, however, the deviation is very small, and, and so I find this to be um, an acceptable way to do this. Uh, certainly proves a point. Um, <clears throat> so t prime of x um, uh, is equal to 9x squared plus 5. t double prime of x is equal to 18x and t triple prime of x is equal to 18. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and substitute these in. Um, so d2t is 18x, uh, d3t is 18. Uh, this is equal to the, the constant mass times the first derivative, which is uh, 9x squared plus 5. Um, this ends up being 324x equal constant mass is 9x squared plus 5. x ends up equaling mc is 9x squared plus 5 over 324. Um, this provides two terms, uh, 9x squared times mc over 324 plus 5 mc over 324. Um, <clears throat> what I do in order to solve this is only use this first term, which I consider to be significant. Uh, the second term I omit uh, for being insignificant to the equation. And it simplifies the math greatly when I do this. <clears throat> So when I do that, what I get is 324x equals 9x squared times mc, and x ends up being 324 over 9mc, um, this equals 36 over mc. <clears throat> So this is our answer here, 36 over the constant mass. So this is step one, this is the end of step one. In step two what we do is we substitute, we substitute x equal 36 
over the constant mass back into the uh, into the derivatives. So t prime of x, um, t prime of x was 9x squared plus 5. This is equal to <clears throat> a 9 times 36 over nc plus 5. <clears throat> double prime of x is 18x and this is equal to 18 times 36 over the constant mass and then t triple prime of x was equal to 18 <clears throat> so that's step two Step three, what we do in step three is we plug the, um, um, <clears throat> we plug in for the mass and see we, we use the, the, um, the value for R, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So um, T prime of X <clears throat> T prime of X was 9 times 36 over the constant mass squared plus 5. Um, when we plug in when we plug in 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin here and square this, um, <clears throat> add 5 to it, um, your answer ends up being, <clears throat> the answer ends up being 1,732,000 one hundred and forty five point nine six two Kelvin Kelvin because this has units liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin associated with you you've associated units with the problem now and you get your final physical answer is one million seven hundred and thirty two thousand uh, 145.962 Kelvin. T double prime of X was 18 X. Um, that's 18 times 36 over the constant mass. When we plug in, uh, when we plug in a .08206 again here, uh, what we get is <clears throat> we get 7,896.66098 atmospheres. Again, we've associated units with it, so we get our final answer in atmospheres. And then the last, the last T triple prime of X was equal to 18. Well, that's 18 liters. There's, there's the answer. You have 18 liters. You have 7,896 atmospheres. 0.66098 atmospheres. And you have 1,732,145.962 Kelvin. There's your answer. Uh, in step four, what we do is we plug these in to the ideal gas law to confirm whether or not that's the correct answer or not. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's uh, D2T was uh, 7,896 atmospheres. Uh, it's actually 
098 atmospheres times uh, the volume, uh, which was uh, 18 liters, uh, is equal to is equal to um, <clears throat> well n times 0 0.08206. Uh, it's liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Mole Kelvin times, well, it was uh, <clears throat> uh, 100, or it's actually 1,732,145 uh, point nine six two Kelvin. Um, when you do this math, when you do this math, the number of moles comes out to be exactly one mole to nine digits past the decimal. Three, six, nine digits. One mole right on the dot. <clears throat> and that's how you can tell that, um, that this, is, um, this is correct is because the number of moles comes out exactly um, even now, now sometimes because I use that um, uh, I mean it comes out exact to you know one mole with nine digits past the decimal but um, in some instances there's some deviation in this uh, this a slight deviation and it's accounted for by the little mathematical trick that I use to um, to actually make the uh, you know the math simpler here uh, but nevertheless this is the uh, this is the final answer so our, our, our final answer came out to be um, the, 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 the pressure was equal to 7,896.66098 atmospheres. Uh, the temperature uh, was 1,732,145.9622 Kelvin. The volume was 18 liters <clears throat> and the number of moles worked out to be exactly uh, one mole to nine digits past the decimal. That's the theory of everything. When you can derive when you can derive <clears throat> pressure, temperature, and volume uh, sets that are um, that are that satisfy the ideal gas equation, then you have the theory of everything. It's contained in my new book, Gravitational Unit Theory, Unified Field Theory, The Theory of Everything. Uh, that book can be found at gravitationalunittheory.com. And, and my personal goal is to win the MacArthur Award. Um, my contact information is at gravitationalunittheory.org. Um, my name's Todd Gooch, and thank you very much for your time.